Good morning and welcome back to day three where I am sharing my morning rituals with you and we are talking specifically all about journaling. So if you missed day one and day two, make sure to go back and to watch those because you don't want to miss those. And I want to thank you so much for joining me and for sharing these videos because together we can help so many people when you share the videos on your page as well. So if you haven't joined me before, my name is Carmen Olin. I'm a holistic nutritionist, personal empowerment coach, and transformational speaker. I know that's lots of like blah, 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 blah. So what do you do? So basically my work is dedicated to guiding ambitious women just like you to get rid of your never ending to-do list. You know that one that's on constant repeat in your head so you can finally lose those last 10 pounds for good, have endless energy, and live the freaking life of your dreams. So here we go. Let's jump into it. Day three. Now I know I've talked about it, but you've uh, a lot of you have asked like the journal that I'm using. The journal that I'm using right now is this one. It's from Fitlosophy. I'll make sure to tag them this time. I didn't the other day, but on this side it talks about gratitude, your goal today, what you appreciate about your body, your movement, uh, reflecting on your food and that sort of thing. So that's kind of cool. And then on the other side it gives you just a blank page. So the question today, so you can start your journaling practice. So each day I'm sharing a question. And when we can ask ourselves better questions, that's when we're really going to be able to become more self-aware. And then when we can do it on a consistent basis and really make it, instead of a routine, which is just another checklist item, we make it a ritual and really feel the feelings of the things that we write down. And I want you to write it down with pen and paper or pencil, get colored pens, whatever you want, because then you can really feel it and it makes it real. So here is today's question and what I wrote. And so what it is, is what am I proud of myself for? So why is this important? Well, often as busy, ambitious women, we're always setting goals and trying to reach that next goal, but we actually don't take the time to check in with ourselves and be proud of ourselves for the things that we're doing on the everyday basis that could be small or hitting large goals. We're just like, okay, on to the next. But we wanna really sit in that feeling, sit in that feeling of how amazing it feels to hit that goal um, or how amazing it feels to do something consistently, to to do something kind for others, do something kind for ourselves. Maybe you're proud of yourself for just starting this journaling practice and answering the questions that I'm giving you every day. Maybe you're proud of yourself for drinking water throughout the day as your primary beverage, like what I talk about. Maybe you're proud of yourself for finally putting yourself first and taking an hour out of your day to really do something for you that fills you up. Whatever it is, write it down. So let me share with you what I wrote down today and then as I promised, today I'm sharing with you at the end of this video some of the biggest challenges that I have had when I first started a morning ritual practice trying to really get it going. So today I'm proud of myself for unwavering faith and daily deliberate action towards my dreams without an attachment to an outcome. So what happens often is that we are so focused on the outcome of what we want to achieve, then we're not finding joy and we're not finding um, happiness and really discovering what's happening in the everyday to be able to reach that big dream. And so I've done a lot of work around this, around slowing down, and I'm really happy to say that each and every day I'm able to take deliberate steps towards my dreams, but not having to hold so tightly to the outcome and it has just been a huge game changer for me. The second thing that I'm really proud of myself for is my daily focus on being present in the moment and finding joy in the everyday. So it's really easy to get bogged down in your to-do list in your head of what you have to do next. When you do that, it just creates a shit ton of like overwhelm and stress and it just doesn't feel good in that moment. So anytime I find myself projecting into the future, instead of being where I'm at, I just look up and look around and find things that I'm grateful for. Even if it's doing laundry or grocery shopping, like how can you find gratitude and like, I'm so happy that I have access to such fresh food that I can cook to nourish my body. Kind of see the change there? And the third thing is a big thing for me. So I haven't had any alcohol in three months, which has totally helped me be so much more inspired. Like I'm so much more creative. My effectiveness is so much more. My connection, my spiritual connection is so much greater. And hey, although I'm really glowing right now because the sun is like right on my face, my skin is like 
so fab. I was getting some like breakouts and stuff like that. And it's not that I'll never drink again, but just right now in my life, it wasn't serving me for what I wanted to bring. I want to deepen my spiritual connection. I want to bring so much to you guys to be able to help you with your health goals and your life goals and your business goals. And I found that having alcohol was just like diminishing my shine. And when I don't shine, then you don't shine. So I know when I show up, and authentically shine each and every day. It allows you to do the same. So that is that. And those are the three things I'm proud of. I think one of my biggest challenges and one challenge that I've talked to some of my clients about is support of your family system or specifically your significant other um, because they don't really understand what you're doing. When you start doing something, that doesn't mean that everybody around you has to start doing something. So I know for me, like my husband want me to stay and like cuddle um, in bed and I would be ready to like get up, jump out of bed, start doing my journaling my reading my meditation really get my day going have my lemon water because that made me feel really good not that laying with him or whatever didn't feel good but this was just something that I really wanted to bring into my life and I knew that if I did it consistently that I could make this ritual really impactful for me and so I explained the importance to him and he was supportive but some days he'd walk by and you know he kind of give me like, oh, she's doing it again. But I stayed really consistent with it. And you know what happened? He actually started after a couple of years like his own morning ritual practice as well without me even saying anything or saying like you should try this. I just shared with him some of the things that I wrote down, some of the things that I read and how it impacted me without any expectation of him doing it too. So I think that was one of my biggest challenges because I just had to sit with and be okay because sometimes it's hard. Like I would feel bad at first, you know, and I would have some guilt and shame around it. So I had to sit with it and just be okay that I was doing something that was important for me and it was filling me up. And now he does the same where we do it together. He has these sound bowls that he plays and like that is just like super magical in the morning. Okay, so that is that for day three. Join me before tomorrow for the last day, day four, and I have something super special to share with you so you can continue your journaling practice and start your morning ritual practice. And like always, I'm so grateful for each of you for watching this video. If you think it'll help someone else, please tag them below, share this video, and until tomorrow, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, eat real food so you can have endless energy, live your freaking dream life. Thank you for joining me.